Well, there's a criminal complaint for Sergeant James Darrell Hickox. It says he was arrested on charges of possession with intent to sell drugs such as cocaine and fentanyl. On your side, Andrew Badillo is live tonight in the newsroom to break down the complaint. So, Andrew, what else did investigators say they found? The complaint says the FBI probe started after a confidential law enforcement source told agents, Hick told agents Hickox and another officer often stole money and drugs from suspects. The source said the officers frequently allowed the source and a criminal associate to take portions of confiscated drugs and cash seizures, quote, off the top end, end quote. On March 10th, investigators conducted a search warrant and say they found large amounts of drugs and cash in a detached garage at Hickox home. The complaint says FBI agents found three shoe boxes containing about $100,000 of cash in a bedroom closet. The complaint also says Hickox made around $87,000 in cash deposits between January 2020 and October 2022. When investigators asked Hickox about the money, he said he didn't recall where it all came from, saying he had a gambling problem and borrowed money from a lot of people. First Coast News crime and safety analyst Mark Bachman says Hickox arrest is a black eye for the law enforcement agencies involved. The problem is it starts to erode public trust and that's never a good thing, uh, especially with officers that are out here working hard to do the job and do it the right way or agents or whoever it may be. Hickox appeared in federal court Monday and is due back in court March 23rd. A spokesman for the sheriff's office says he is no longer employed with the department. Hickox is the second local law enforcement officer arrested March 10th in an FBI investigation. Florida Highway Patrol Trooper Joshua Erie was also arrested. A criminal complaint accuses him of buying drugs from his own confidential source while serving as a member of a local DEA task force. In the newsroom, Andrew Badillo, First Coast News on your side.